If you hear me say Simpson a lot, there's a reason why today Taylor, the oldest of the three. Sierra Simpson came in last year, grabbed that libero spot. Gabby Simpson, a freshman. It's not just that they're on the team. They are huge impact players. Taylor, Sierra, Gabby. They are starters on the Colorado women's volleyball team, and they are the Simpson sisters. Did you guys ever imagine, I know obviously you knew that you were gonna play in high school together and that was a special thing, but did you think that this was possible to be able to play at this level at a place like this? I never thought like I was gonna get to play with them again. So I mean, it's special and it's really cool to be able to have this opportunity and get to play with two of my best friends. Gabby Simpson, Taylor Simpson. Cece Simpson. Simpson, Simpson, Simpson. Is everywhere on this court. What was it like growing up in your house? Um, when we were little kids, I can't imagine what it was like for our parents. Oh. Sister act, Gabby to Taylor Simpson for the kill. So they would get this big game going in the hallway here, and as each one goes off to school, the game gets a little quieter, and this year, there's not... Not as much. Not as much volleyball going on in the what hall. What do they call it? V-ball in the yeah. hall? There are so many broken pieces of furniture and just all kinds of stuff in there. Um, as a result from that, we have this like chandelier that hangs in our hallway and I swear we hit it every single time we play and we're just <laughs> waiting for the day that the thing comes crashing down. For the uninitiated, there are three Simpson sisters <laughs> all playing for Colorado. Taylor is the renowned outside hitter, Gabby is the center, and Sierra is the libero. One of the things that you kind of joked about or laughed about being able to come here and that you all play different positions is that you could kind of do the trifecta bump set. But has that happened yet? Yeah. It, yeah, it has. It was after a CC pass, Gabby set, and I hit. That was all CC. Sierra to Gabby to Taylor. It probably makes it like pretty easy for the announcers too. Like, yeah. Simpson to Simpson, Simpson. And they're all starting. It's never happened in the history of Division I women's volleyball. Point box. It is really neat. It's a kind of a cool just human element to college sports. You're getting players that you want to come in and create a family with. Well, we have it built in. We have these three kids that earn their own way here. Um, they've kind of made their own story. But it's really neat that when you look out on that court and they all work their way into the starting lineup, to see all three of them out there, you kind of have to just shake your head and wonder, like, wow, I wonder if this will ever happen again. You guys know each other so well that you, you, know, you can communicate through a look. Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? We just get each other, and we, when we're on the court together, we just flow really well without really having to say anything. I think we're pretty lucky. Doug, Cece was there, and Taylor Simpson pounced it through. There's definitely some sort of connection that you have with somebody that you worked together with for a long time, finishing each other's sentences, knowing how the other one thinks, knowing what their responses will be. And I think it helps to create you know, that bond that you want amongst your passers. Where is Colorado volleyball and how, how far do you think it can go? We're at the breaking point almost. I think that there's a little barrier that we're trying to get over and everybody's on board with the goal that we have. And I mean, that's to contend with everyone to be top teams. Sky's the limit, and if we can take care of business, postseason is going to be really, really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I started smiling. I